Beehive newsletter tutorial and review how to use Beehive for beginners. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can set up your email newsletter with Beehive. You will be able to grow your subscribers, make a decent side hustle and grow your business. And I will show you exactly how you can do it. So to start things off, let's talk about what actually Beehive is. So first of all, if you want to try out Beehive, there is a link in the description below for you to get started on Beehive for absolutely free. And if you are serious about using Beehive, I recommend taking the Grow plan. This will give you the most of the best features for the best price. To start things off, Beehive is great for those who have an idea of what to write and know their niche very well. OK, so basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to come to their main website, which is, you know, your main Beehive website. And as you come down, you can see all their features where you can start building, writing, skill faster, start earning and a whole lot more, you know, really easy and really basic stuff to, you know, look at. Now, basically, we're going to come down here and, uh, you know, there's lists and lists of different uh, newsletters and different options that you can go with. You can see all these, uh, you know, uh, reviews and benefits that people tell you. And it's really incredible and really great stuff. And you can start building different newsletters for yourself if you want to right now. But obviously, uh, for that, you can just come up to the dashboard to start making newsletters. And to be very honest, it's very simple to make a Beehive account because all you're going to need to do is type in your email address, full name and password. And yeah, you're pretty much good to go. So once you use the link to create an account for yourself, you're going to come to a page like this. OK, it's going to look like this. And what we're going to do over here is we're going to be walking through each of the tab and what each tab does. So first of all, this is your dashboard. OK, in your dashboard, you see all your basic analytics. So active subscribers, average open rate, average click rate. Obviously, we know what these things are. Then you can see your number of posts, how many impressions you got on them. You see your active subscribers, okay, on your basic graph. So that's pretty incredible as well. Explore more offers. You know, you can see all these things where you can get recommended boost offers. And obviously, there are certain money per subscribers, but you can get them if you want to because they're pretty beneficial for your, you know, integrations and automations. Now, moving on, there's the right tab. Now, the right tab is basically where you're going to do the writing process. You're going to write your content. You're going to write all the things that are, you know, stuck in your brain right now and you want to get them out. You're going to write all of them in the right tab. Then moving on, there's the grow tab. OK, the grow tab is where you're going to make your newsletter bigger. OK, it helps you make your newsletter more broad. It adds more information, adds more detail and features, and it just makes it much better than you have alternatively made it. Then moving on, there's the monetize tab. Now, this is basically as it says, it allows you to add ads into the newsletter so you can monetize your written material. And obviously, monetization is an incredible thing because it allows you to actually make money off of the content and the writing that you're pulling off. Then there's the audience uh, tab, okay, right here. Audience is where you can take a look at your subscribers, polls, analytics, and a whole lot more, okay? So basically, this is where you can, you know, keep uh, track of your audience. It's where you can keep track of your subscribers and a whole lot of other things. You can add survey forms, subscriber forms, just to, you know, uh, interact with your audience. And, you know, you can take feedback from them if you want. And pretty incredible in general stuff now moving on finally there is the analyze section which is basically you're going to find reports okay and this is where you can review your newsletters and its growth which is also a pretty great and incredible feature for you to have in a platform like this so once you've talked about that moving on let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to actually go ahead and create a newsletter for ourselves now, if you're starting from scratch with zero subscribers, you're going to click on start writing in the top right corner over here to create a newsletter. So once you click on start writing, if you already have a good amount of subscribers, it's a good idea to bring them into your newsletter. So the way you can do this is by importing your actual subscribers. Now, how can you import your actual subscribers? Uh, it's pretty simple. OK, so let me just make a draft of that. So as you can see, the draft is made. Now you're going to go into your basic audience. You're going to go into subscribers and over here 
you can just automatically import your subscribers and uh, you know there's different ways of importing you can import it in a csv file copy paste a list of email addresses upload an email list csv it all depends on you on however you want to go with it and if beehive has an imposed limit on your import you can actually email the support and give them the list of subscribers that you have and where they came from now, after you've imported your subscribers to Beehive, now I currently don't have a lot of people to import, so I'm going to keep this blank. But once you've imported your subscribers to Beehive, it's time to start writing your actual posts. So basically, I'm going to tell you, you know, a basic breakdown to, you know, tell you what's to be included in the email list. So the email list needs to look a bit like this way let me show you csv email list template let me just show you how the list template is supposed to look like so it's supposed to look a bit like this so on the left hand side there's going to be emails on the right hand side there's going to be information so you know just make sure it's like this where you have all their data in different sections and tables of the csv list and that should be pretty much good for you okay that should uh, do all the work for you and all you're going to do from there is just import it and the rest is up to Beehive to actually, you know, adjust everything. So uh, basically, after you've, you know, done all of this, make sure to reintroduce yourself to your new subscribers on Beehive. Okay, because new subscribers need new verifications from yourself. So please do make sure to, you know, reintroduce yourself. Now, one example in writing a valuable post is to begin your post by saying that the subscribers can freely unsubscribe. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back. I'm going to go ahead into my write section dashboard uh, again, start writing. Now, here we are. And again, one example in writing a valuable post is to begin your post by saying that the subscribers can freely unsubscribe. This way, you're not forcing people who are not interested in what you have to say. Talk about, you know, why you email them. You can tell them, uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm writing this email to you in, you know, um, in challenge of telling you how appreciative I am of you to read this email. Now, the reason I emailed you this or the reason I'm writing to you is because I want to tell you about my, you know, certain product or I want to tell you about this or I want you to join this, you know, whatever you're emailing about. Then by being open, there is a much bigger chance that your subscribers will actually stick around. So basically, let me give you an example of a post. So if I come here, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, example email post. You know, let me just uh, give you an example. And obviously, these email posts have gone pretty much successful. So let me give you an example. So let's go with this, you know. So thanks for choosing Apple. Hi, Stephen. I wanted to follow up with you regarding our previous correspondence. Have you been able to get the information that I requested? After you have the information that I've requested, you can reply to this email attached, et cetera, et cetera. So these are basic business emails that you're going to do. So, you know, really great and really incredible stuff. And these are like the successful emails. So do make sure to be open to the audience. And there you go. Hey, we have two new blog posts. What is EAT? Google's knowledge. Till next time. You know, just be very friendly. Be very open. And there's a bigger chance that your subscribers will stick around. Now, moving on comes you know, actually changing your Beehive email to your domain name. So you'll get an email name from Beehive. And it's obviously a set default because Beehive gives it to you itself. It generates it for you itself. Okay. Now, I would understand if a lot of people would not like that. Now, if you want to change this email name to maybe your domain name, just follow through these steps. You're going to go ahead and go to settings over here. And once you have gone to your settings, you're going to go ahead to change your email. So here's change email. And you can set it to a certain domain. And once you do that, you're going to confirm the verification on that email if you want to. So obviously, it totally depends on you on how you want to go with this. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep it the same because it's according to my domain. So I'm good with this. But you can obviously change it to whatever your domain is. Now, let's also talk about how you're going to be able to grow your email list. Now that you've set up your newsletter and sent your first email, you know, you're going to have your own custom email address and import all of your subscribers into Beehive. The next step is to grow your email list. You can grow your email list using various websites such as LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, you know, social marketing. Give an example, okay, to the audience on how you can grow and uh, how you can, you know, interact with them. So let's say 
I'm going to show you, you know, different Instagram posts that are used to, you know, grow subscribers, you know, Instagram posts for growing subscribers. Let me give you a good example. So I'm going to go in images and uh, let's say there's this account of this person. Now, obviously, this is a weekly newsletter of smart reads. And down here, as you can see, this person has these different Instagram posts where they're impassorting their product or there's this person over here. So you can see that in this Instagram post, they can grow stronger with connection with subscribers on Instagram, which is also pretty incredible. So as you can see, there's our Instagram post linking to the subscriptions that you can use. And you also need to be clever in how you strategize your posts and stories to turn your followers into your newsletter subscribers. So make sure to, you know, link everything in your story and everything should be good. Then there's Beehive's key features, okay? So if I move back to Beehive over here, there's intuitive email newsletter editor. This editor supports a range of elements, okay? So again, if we go and write, you can uh, see, you can include text, quotes, links, images, and much more. Then there's different customizable template designs, okay? So you have emails, website, SEO, delivery, uh, you can save this template as a customary by yourself as well. You can adjust fonts, colors, spacing, and backgrounds tailoring your template to align with your brand identity. Okay, then moving on, obviously, you can use magic links using the growth thing as well. And you can also boost your posts. There's advanced analytics as well, where Beehive provides a user-friendly analytical dashboard that provides a real-time data on your newsletter performance. Obviously, if we go to dashboard over here, look at this, you get real-time posts, you get real-time data, really great, really incredible stuff. Now, moving on, that technically wraps up most of the features that we have for Beehive. So if I were to share my thoughts on Beehive's pricing, let's talk about it. We're going to go to Beehive's pricing on their main page and we can see at $0, you can get started on Beehive. It's got amazing features such as you can get up to 2,500 subscribers, you get unlimited sends, web hostings, custom newsletters, campaign analytics, you get recommendation network and optimized deliverability. Now at $42, which is the grow, you can unlock way more features to actually grow your newsletter where you can get up to 10,000 subscribers, custom domains, premium subscriptions, advanced segmentation, audience polls, survey forms, multiple team members, and API access. And then finally, there's the $84. And here's what you can do. Up to 100,000 subscribers, advanced web builders, ad network, referral program, automations, boosts, 3D analytics, Beehive AI, A-B testing, and priority support. So all these, you know, features that you get, they're really incredible. And in this price, I would definitely go for it because you don't get these types of features in this much budget. So finally, to answer the big question, is Beehive actually worth it? Beehive, in my opinion, continues to be a popular choice for content creators, you know, seeking a very intuitive and feature rich platform for their newsletters with its very user friendly interface, customization options, powerful editor and monetization opportunities. Beehive actually provides a very comprehensive solution for newsletter and management. You have the option to try it out for free and see for yourself. It's if it's you know actually worth the money and you can give yourself personal experience on using Beehive and how it helped you grow your newsletter in community. Now, finally, to wrap all this up, if you want to try out Beehive for yourself, there is a link in the description below that you can click on to get started on Beehive for free. And if you're serious about this, please, I do recommend taking the grow plan because it's going to be incredible for you and it's going to take you a long way. Now, if you enjoyed watching and found this helpful, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I will be making more for you. But yeah, that's basically about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I will see all of you incredible people next time. Goodbye.